G'day, mate, and welcome back to Captain Ministry with me, Jerry. In our last episode, we did scrub and we did clean. We did scrub all the exhausts we could possibly find, and we did clean up the air. At the same time, we also put in a wastewater treatment plant so we could stop dropping the, um, call it shower water. Let's call it shower water into the sea, which also increased our overall health of the population, which is very good because we are yet to invent Medicare or private hospitals, or even your friendly GP. Yeah, there's, there's not a single doctor on the island. We're doing our best. We're doing our best. But today's episode, today's episode, I need to get in. I need to fix a whole bunch of, uh, well, past Jedi's mistakes. There's been a number of them. They've been stacking up for a while. So we need to play catch up. At the same time, we've already decided we were going to build in the crater, but we haven't really worked out how we're going to get down there. So I need to talk about the plans, the plans, the choices, and I need to leave the decision up to you guys. Now, with all that out of the way, I need to ask the most important question of all is, can I borrow a like? I just like to borrow a like. I like to borrow a like mainly because I have to spend the episode running around after past JD fixing the many, many mistakes. At the same time, I am going to remind you we're in episode, what, 16 now? 16 now? Have you clicked subscribe? You should have clicked subscribe by now. You should definitely have clicked subscribe by now. And if you happen to be joining the series late, don't forget in the very first link of the description, you'll always find the playlist. Also, it's normally written in the pinned comment below. Anyway, with all that out of the way, let's get into, um, well, fixing past JD's mistakes. As always, I need to also thank those that go above and beyond, those that choose to support the channel, those that choose to keep the dream alive. And today we need to thank a brand new YouTube member, uh, that being uh, the wonderful Ashura Sky. Ashura Sky. I'm pretty sure it's Ashura Sky who maybe needs to go and work out which one the, the gas is, the brake is, and the clutch is, because obviously there's a couple of problems going on here. Yeah, just just one or two one or two yeah all right uh today's episode today's episode we need to fix a couple of problems all right first thing i need to look at is maintenance last episode we got some maintenance up and running which is good except there's a couple of problems uh you need 24 mechanical parts you also need 24 mechanical parts you also need 24 mechanical parts okay 24 plus 24 plus 24 equals we're good plus you need 12 mechanical parts which is not good uh, so I need to whoop, fix that problem by probably putting in another one of those machines. Okay. Which you need 12, uh, 24, 48, 48, uh, uh, steel. That's not a problem. We make, uh, 12, 24, 48 steel. Okay. It means there's technically no steel left over to make construction pass three. That's a later jetty problem. We, we, we need to keep him busy as well. Uh, the other catch is... Well, this belt only moves 60. I need 12, 20, I need 24, 48, uh, over 60, well over 60. So what I need to do is uh, use the upgrade button and upgrade those belts so we can get mechanical parts out here a little bit faster. Cool, that solves that problem. Uh, the other catch is, well, we accidentally built this machine, but um, I didn't intentionally build it, so I didn't intentionally build the recycling belts behind it. Which is why I stress to you so much that you really want to, with your maintenance machines especially, turn on both recipes. Because yes, had I just turned on this recipe, it would have still said maintenance low and I would have known about it and would have gone and done something about fixing it. But the problem is if you're just running this recipe and your maintenance is running low and then suddenly it's because your recycling's backed up, you go spend time working on recycling and then probably not watching your maintenance and therefore bad things happen and then bad, bad things happen. So we just need to build that belt. Uh, so we just get that belt belt built real fast. All right. Next thing I need to do is ah ah wood 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 down here down here. We have a whole bunch of diggy boys, oh, well, diggy boys, choppy boys, choppy boys, and uh, they have four trucks each. And the reason they have four trucks each is the trucks have to drive all the way up here to dump the wood in here. That's less than ideal. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to give them somewhere local to store all that wood because I need to get down here and I need to actually start doing stuff down here. And the quickest way for me to do that is have every single tree chopped down. So we're going to build a couple of double storages. These hold 2,000 each. So that'll probably take care of my wood woes. Also, if I turn that on, I'm willing to bet these trucks come racing over here super fast to dump all said wood. Yes, perfect. All right, next thing I want to do is I want to set an export route. I want to have wood go from the, well, from this box into this box. This is just going to flow straight through. After it gets in here, I want it to then be dragged by the normal trucks, the normal trucks in the, um, this one, this one, the uh, normal 
truck pull, yes, and have them take it up there. And the reason I want to do that is currently I have four trucks here just doing, well, hunting down this guy. I don't need four trucks here. We're going to chop it down to two. Uh, we're also going to go to this guy and do the same. If they have just two trucks, that means there should be one here waiting for them and one, well, driving back and forth between here. The other two trucks for each of them, being four trucks total, I freed up. They should be able to do this order. Well, they just take wood from here and ship it up there. That's all they have to do. Actually, I don't even have to do that. We can just do that. I can do that. That's a way better way of doing it. Yes. Now I have zero risk of... Wait, 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 wait. You guys are going to dump wood in here because it's the closest place for you to dump it. And then this is set to kick the wood out of here, which means it's going to have to come up to here because it's got nowhere else to go. There is nowhere else the wood can go. So um, that's going to be our plan for that. Uh, we still need to chop down this whole area. And the main reason I want to get uh, the wood cleared is I'd really like to get a digging crew down here and start flattening out this area. Because although... Although, like, I... I I, I, I like, you know, a good, a green, you could, you know, new virgin soil. I also want it, you know, reasonably clean and um, less spiky and full of um, trees. So the, the lesson is uh, trim your trees, trim your trees, trim your trees, keep them short. Uh, and um, also, well, if it's got bumps on it, it's probably bad and you shouldn't touch it. So I need to bring a dinghy crew down here and flatten it first. So that's the plan with these guys. Uh, next thing I need to talk about is... You guys did suggest it. You did suggest it in the comment section below, and you are 100% mostly correct. Mostly correct. Uh, I have an exhaust scrubber here that we built last episode, and the exhaust scrubber is running out uh, low-pressure steam into the cooling tower, which then cools the low-pressure steam, which then gives us back water, which is a great combination, a very good combination. And I should have considered putting that low-pressure steam into a low-pressure turbine, because it also needs 24 steam, to get some free mechanical power. But... Uh, it only gives you 3 megawatts with mechanical power for 24 low pressure steam if it's a constant amount of steam. This is why we have these guys on auto balance, because, well, each time they spin up and spin down, have a little bit of steam come in, there's a there's an efficiency loss. That's why they have this efficiency bar here, because when the first steam, the, the steam first starts coming in, it takes them a little while to start, you know, getting up to speed and everything else, and we just waste some energy. Now, you output uh, 24 steam if we feed you 180 exhaust. We don't feed you 180 exhaust. We feed you 60 exhaust. With an occasional extra 60 when this drive shaft needs to kick in. And uh, when we feel like it, 24 exhaust. But um, this is for glass that we only use for vehicle parts. We don't really have a supply or a source of well, a, a need for the, the vehicle parts currently. So this is really not running. So we're going to ignore that factor. So I'm feeding you 60, maybe 120. Which means rather than getting out 24 low pressure steam, I'm really getting out eight. I'm getting out one third that amount. Now, eight low pressure steam is technically enough to run a turbine. It's just most of the power is going to be wasted as well. Most of the steam power is going to be wasted in converting it to starting up the mechanical force of running a low pressure turbine. But, 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 uh, you cost two people 1.2 maintenance. And potentially I'm going to get uh, a one megawatt worth of mechanical power is way too high. Maybe 500? 500. But it's pretty cheap. So uh, we're going to build it. We're going to build it. Uh, we're going to wait till you're empty. Okay, pause. You're empty. Cool. I'm going to remove that pipe. Uh, cool. And then we're going to go. Come on. Cool. I'm going to go. Okay. No, I can't connect to that. All right. Fine, we'll just remove the whole thing. Uh, uni, go away. All right, we're gonna come from here. We're gonna go up to height two, right the way across. Uh, hello, come with me. Oh, come, come with me, yep. Uh, into here. And then out of here. Uh, up to height three, over the top, and... Fine, you can have your zigzag in there. Pipes. I don't approve, but you can have your zigzag because I can't be bothered fixing it. Uh, into there, into there, and remove that, and into there. The only thing I have to do is I have to remember, remember to enable that recipe because I actually disabled the other recipes and build that. With those built, I want to see this up. We need to turn off auto balance because we don't need to auto balance this. This needs to actually burn the steam. We need to see the steam come in and 
statement. Come on. Yeah, you have statements. It's making its way through the pipe. Okay. So we're going to see uh, this, this efficiency. So rather than producing 3 megawatts worth of mechanical power, it's producing 14% of that being 428 mechanical power, which is not a lot. Okay. And as it continuously gets steam for longer and longer, which it's currently doing because there's steam right here, it will slowly increase. But then we just had the steam stop because there's a break in the steam output and therefore zero. And then it's going to spend some time speeding up again and then zero. And then it's going to spend some time speeding up again and then zero. You see my point. So the only thing you are basically doing is there is a little bit of loss occasionally on the drive shaft when it's not doing anything. When we're not adding power, we're taking off maybe the smidges to power. It's going to be a little bit of a loss. So what we're the only thing we're actually doing is we're possibly counteracting that. But we're not going to add like thousands of megawatt seconds. We're going to be adding next to nothing. Next to nothing. Yeah. Yeah. But it's done. It's done. It's done. You guys are technically correct. This is more efficient by, um, I don't know. I don't know. You're making uh, a, a megawatt worth of power occasionally. We get a two thirds use out of that. So we'll call it maybe 500 watts worth of power. How much power is required to keep uh, two people alive and 1.7 maintenance? Yeah. I don't know if it's worth it. I still don't know if it's worth it, but we've done it. We've done it. All right. Next thing I need to do is I need to look at the tech list. Okay. Uh, we have a lot of things in the tech list, especially after all the work we've done over the last couple of episodes. So we need to talk about those. Uh, first off, the do, 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 recycling increases. So we've done these. Okay. We got these done previously. Um, and we have activated uh, recycling increase number one and number two to get a total of a 35% bump on our recycling. On top of that, we did the recycling increase unlock, which just unlocks more recycling, okay? More efficient recycling, 10% right across the board. Uh, we got the deconstruction efficiency. I was waiting for that because, you know, it gives us back 10% extra resources anytime we do some deconstructing, as I do a lot of deconstructing. Sounds like a good idea to me. Next one is plastic. We've got plastic unlocked. And in fact, uh, the bucket is full of plastic. So that is done and dust as well. Then we have the ship bridge and the ship engine. Uh, we got two more upgrades for the ship. In fact, actually, I think we also got the guns as well. We did. So we're going to upgrade Mr. Shippy Shippy. Now, Mr. Shippy Shippy is going to require a thousand pieces of steel. We don't have that. 380 mechanical parts. We've got most of that. And 750 electronics. We've got most of those. So we're going to get you upgraded. You'll take some time. Settlement decorations. That's the next one we need to talk about, which was our fountain and also our little square with a col uh, column, which is giving us under uni, it is giving us a sediment quality of plus one uni. Excellent. Uh, vehicle management number four, which unlocked the extra 10, 20, 20, 20, 20, 10 trucks. 10, 20 trucks. What is it? Uh, vehicle management. 20 trucks. 20 trucks. Um, and as you can see, we've already used 15 of them. Uh, we have the truck overloading edict. This one I'm a giant fan of for the cost of, uh, well, one and a half uni, I can load the trucks up with 30% more material at the cost of 40% uh, extra maintenance. Now, 40% extra maintenance is an awful lot of maintenance. If we click on the maintenance bar and go to maintenance one, I can see my biggest users of maintenance are my trucks and my excavators. Everything else is much smaller. So these are my major uses, but they're also the major workhorses. And if I can get 30% extra out of my trucks, then I can get away with 30% less trucks, which means I can have 30% more digger boys or something to that ratio, which means I can get more stuff done. As we're on the crater, with an awful lot of leveling we need to do, it sounds like a no-brainer for me. Also, um, it turns out that maybe I need to connect you to you. Um, because you guys are complaining about nowhere to dump stuff. And obviously you've done this corner. Yeah, that corner is squared off. Okay. Mm, let's do that. We're going to have a dig bar. No, a dig. Flat. There to there. Okay, now I need to aim you at the floor. So I know where you are for later. All right, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll dig this out later. Later, later. I don't know when later, later is, but later. Uh... And Diggy Crew is still going around and digging off the top and the bottom, clearing us a bit of area on both. Okay. Other researchers. Uh, we unlock edicts number... What's that? 
Five, four, four, four. Yeah, uh, four. Okay, edict number four is this one, which is plenty of food two, water saver two, uh, farming boost two, and maintenance reducer two. Now, I should mention that I have an option to reduce my maintenance by 10%. Over here, I am increasing the uh, recycling efficiency by 15%. Okay, we need to talk about some math really quickly. M maintenance, we're gonna use maintenance as an example. Okay, there's no steel. Why? Uh, did you guys empty the bucket? Because that belt only moves 60. No, that belt's fine at 60. I think it's because they emptied the bucket to upgrade the ship, right? No. Oh, because we were had nowhere to dump stuff and the slag bucket filled up. That's what it is. All right, slag mark two. All right, where were we? Maintenance, maintenance. Okay, I need uh, 24 mechanical parts, okay? And 12 electronics, which then gives me 18 recyclables. 18 recyclables, uh, if I put in 144 recyclables, which is what this is currently processing at, I get back, oh, actually, maybe this is the more exact number. No, this should be roughly, roughly right. So for every 144, I get back 32.3 uh, uh, iron scrap and 18.8 copper scrap i don't need to get any gold and i don't get any broken glass yet but you know that is just how the stats are for right now if you're ever unsure you can always come in here and go recyclables uh that one uh last year i may i i i consumed well uh, let's go 700 and uh iron scrap which is that one i produced 500 okay and for my 500 scrap uh i need 24 to make 24 to make 12 steel so it's a one to one yep but then it's a one steel becomes two mechanical parts then we start the cycle again and i go back to 18 for 24 so there's always a loss to start with then the loss is heightened when you actually recycle things so what I want to do instead, what would be the wiser move is, if we click on you, and I say, you know what, for the one uni for the recycling increase, we're not going to do that. And instead, I'm going to do one uni for a 10% reduction to maintenance. Because that way I'm saving 10% to set 10% up front, rather than um, getting back 10% later. At least because, well, our recyclables are maintenance and science. That's it. And we produce eight recyclables. It's not a lot. It's not a lot. You know, you'll produce 18 per month. Yeah. It's not a lot. So we're going to do it the other way around and save the resources up front rather than in post. Yeah. Okay. Which then goes back to uh, research. We have ship weapons. Yes. Uh, we have uh, household goods. Household goods and housing three. Housing three is a bigger and better house, which we can talk about really quickly, which is behind glass. Housing three. Housing 3. Additional housing for 230 people that provides more comfort. Also provides a monthly uni increase if the housing provider will, with the required services. Uh, housing can either be attached to an existing cinema or become part of its own benefit from its already provided services such as food placed independently to establish itself as a new settlement. In that case, you need to attach it with service modules. Yes, yes. Blah, 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 blah. Currently, we get a uni bonus of 50% because we're at tier 2 housing. When we get to tier 3, we get a 100% bonus for uni. The catch is I need to provide it with household goods, which we don't have. Uh, household goods are this one, which is our glass rocking chairs, which is going to require glass, steel, and wood, which is where we're going to start actually burning through wood. But I want to plan the things out. I want to have a bit more of a stable base. I don't really want to build things up here on the edge in the rim of the crater. I would really like to put them a little bit some more somewhere sensible. Yeah, that's the plan I'm going for. I know, being sensible. Sheesh. So, um, where, housing, housing three we can deal with for now, but you know, the house of goods also then leads to settlement recycling, which means I need to have recycling probably buffed up a little bit and a little bit more reliable. Also, I need to account for glass uh, recycling. Also, I need to actually have a glass smelter that's not one, just one smelter shoved away in a corner. So there's a little bit of a step to get to the next level, which brings us back down to our plan. We've already decided we're going to build in the crater, okay? It's guaranteed. It's guaranteed we're, we're going to build everything in the crater, or at least everything we possibly can. Obviously, you need to have docks on the coastline, but apart from that, everything in the crater. But how do we get down to the crater? Well, uh, I've been looking, and currently we have, um, well, from the coastline, little ramp down here, 
Then around the edge of the island, uh, down this little ramp we've built, uh, down this little ramp, then another ramp right here, another ramp right here, and then we do a full 180 to finally get into the crater, which is a lot of travel. Also, if I have to run belts down there, that's going to be a nightmare. They are going to be super expensive. So my plan is to get into the crater a little bit of a shorter route. So I was looking around. I'm like, oh, that's not too bad. We can put a ramp in here. Like it comes in at 80 right here, which is pretty close to the edge. You know, it's going to require a little bit of filling, but mainly a lot of digging. Now I do have a mega diggy crew. We do have a diggy crew that can rip through material fairly quickly. It's still going to take them a considerable amount of time to get this digging done. It is a nice, straight, easy ramp, which means I could get belts and pipes down here without too much trouble. It does mean that we'd have to bring everything that we're going to have up here at the coastline, at least until we, well, this is quartz, uh, this is sand, this is limestone, this is no resources, uh, this is limestone, I believe gold is back here, uh, this is coal as we know, and then we have iron and copper. So it does mean that until we, I don't know, send a crew over here and flatten out this mountain and get direct access to the sea, anything like oil and anything else that we're importing is going to have to make a giant detour around the map and then come down here. It can be done. It can be done. You know, we could we could cut through the mountain here eventually and then put the docks out here and everything else. It could be done. It could be done. We'd have to do some serious terraforming, but it, it could be done. Like, do I have a better idea? There has to be a better idea. There has to be a better idea of how to deal with the crater. I'm like, coastline, docks. Hmm. Iron's on the right. Copper's on the left. What if we just build a giant ramp down here? And I measured it out. My giant ramp came out like to here somewhere. It was massive by just putting a, a slope on it, a gentle slope. It was massive. It was not an option. Not an option. And then I thought, surely, surely I can come up with a better plan. And I came up with a better plan. Well, hang on, hang on. I need to backtrack that statement. I came up with a plan. I don't think it's a better plan, but it's a plan. Uh, what I came up with was a lot of ziggy zags. Now, this is actually so short that I actually claim some area. Well, mostly. Uh, I missed some tiles. Can I do mining, please? That. Okay. Uh, I claim some tiles. Uh, and... It looks like it narrowly maybe clips the edge of the iron just a little bit, but that's okay. If we pick up a little bit of iron on the way, that's not too bad. It definitely dodges the copper, uh, and it only requires a little bit of filling because when you're digging through a mountain in Capitaville Street, the mountain, the original mountain, the virgin mountain, we're using that word again, the V word, it's much more stable than if I dump materials. And a best example is probably here. Like This is a very, very sheer cliff. Whereas this is stuff that I dumped has just flown over the top. Uh, this is a wall I dumped. You know, this dump, dumped wall is what? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, five tiles. Five tiles to go up to plus five from 10. So it's a 15 tile increase and it's a five tile width. Okay. This is only five, to, uh, 10 tiles, 10 tiles, but it's a um, two tile two tile jump uh to go up that distance and that holds two all the way around like it, it's two tiles or even one and a half tiles right original oh god no bad 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 yeah we never get any work done with you on the team okay the sheer cliff the sheer cliff the 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 the, the virgin cliff side is much more effective at like you know holding material back and staying upright so our advantage of coming down here is um, we should be able to get this mostly dug out. Like, we're going to have some problems with our, well, actually, our fill from this, our 20s down to our 30s, might have some bleeding efforts, at which point we might have to play with retaining walls, see if we can keep it locked in, etc. which I think we could do. And then here to here, it turns out there's like a, a, well, we're digging on this side and, you know, whatever fills over here is probably going to be okay. This corner, we might have some, again, some spillage down to here. We could probably just extend everything over a tile. You know, I do have a three tile gap between each each loop back. And in theory, as it's four tiles wide, I should be able to get a belt or at least a number of belts and pipes around the outside. So there are two big options of how do we get down here? Do we use a nice, simple sloped ramp that's just going to take a while to put together? 
Or do we do the possibly much harder version, but does give me more room to build, and that's just as important, to get down to the crater? I don't know, but I'm going to leave it up to you guys in the comment section. Please, comment section. This is your challenge for today's episode. Tell me, vote away, which should we do? You know, uh, back and forth at the front of the base, or just taking it easy, taking it easy, making the, the, the game a little bit easier for myself, because I've got enough challenges as is. You guys decide. All right. One thing I do need to do that I've just noticed is copper. Uh, can we just what, flatten tool and rip off the top of that? Cool. Nope, there's more. Uh, all the way up to there. Yep, if you can see copper, grab copper. Uh, can I rezone you to here? All right, uh, other thing I wanted to do is... Uh, I wanted to, I wanted to. Okay, I wanted to talk about research. There's one more research I want to talk about, which is under waste management. Actually, it's under health. Okay, so we got disease currently. That's fine. You know, it'll go away when, when the, the, the flu gets solved. Um, but we have four air pollution. Now, I can increase that even more. Well, I can decrease that even lower. So we took all the exhaust and we went and scrubbed it. But we are dumping air pollution out from the air, uh, the exhaust scrubber. I can't do anything about that, but it also dumping out CO2. Now, CO2 is not exactly friendly. Um, it's a little bit bad for the people on the island, and I think we can even get rid of that. In fact, I know we can get rid of that with the gas injection pump. So the gas injection pump uh, provides permanent disposal of gases such as carbon dioxide by dissolving them in liquid and injecting them under pressure into the ground. It has no pollution effect, can be built on top of a limestone deposit. Okay, now these guys in the past are never ever built. The main reason is they would have to go on top of... Can I, can I, can I turn off? Wow. That sucks. Even when I turn it off, it stays on. Cool. But then as soon as I pick up that... Okay. All right. When you put these down, they had to be put on top of a limestone deposit. But it's had an update. It's had a change. I don't know when this change happened. But if I hover over here, it says requires a ground deposit with a thickness of at least six. Uh, current thickness four. So I have only four tiles worth of limestone here. Over here I have, well, it turns out I have at least six. But this is f the very far edge of my limestone deposit. Like miles away. So I'm thinking we might try and put down a couple of these. Can I? No. No. There. And. Uh, there. Okay. Can I copy? No. Can I cut? Two of those. There, there, and there. Okay. If I have six of those, six of those should dispose of a lot of limestone. Uh, a lot of limestone. A lot of carbon dioxide. Come on. All right. There. I actually know they're too close together. Uh, they need to go three tiles apart. Okay. Uh, this should let me dispose of a lot of carbon dioxide. Uh, on top of that, I have no intention of digging this close anytime soon. Okay, we're going to dig this close eventually, but not right now. The only catch is they need 400 kilowatts worth of power each. So they're quite power consuming. So what I want to do is I want to plan to put in multiples, but we're, we're, we're going to start with just one. One seems like a lot to start with. And I'm going to make sure how much you... So you consume 72 carbon dioxide and plus 24 sea, seawater. Seawater is going to be fairly easy to get our hands on. Oh, crude oil reserve. Crude oil reserve is running low. Oh, finally. Okay, uh, we're going to turn this off and this off on two of you. So we only have one of them, so we can keep an eye on it. It does mean that we probably... You're not getting upgraded terribly well. We probably... So we can only run you at two times speed. We probably need to go repair this one as well. Can I just load that up? And is there another oil rig that I don't haven't fixed yet? Oh, there's also a ship out here. We should probably repair this ship as well. Uh, we'll have to wait. Because you got to do one at a time. All right. What I want to do is... Uh, no, storage. Uh, transports. I want to bring a pipe in, a big fat pipe, to there. And then we're going to need a Mark II pipe. Because it's going to take in 72 a piece. And put you there, you there, and there. And then there. And there. Okay. Uh, and then I also want to set a backup plan to if you can't run the CO2 into these guys, we're just going to vent it. Yeah. 
All right, so then I need to get CO2 and seawater. Okay, seawater looks like it's going to be pretty easy as we already have an existing uh, pump. And I have six of these guys that need 24 water each. So we do 24, whoop, 24 multiplied by six equals 144. We're going to run one pump, uh, which does 108 and call it good enough, close enough. Uh, we're going to grab you and we're going to run you into down at ground level. Uh, through to... No, don't try to connect to that pipe. Uh, through to here. Around here. Yep, you can stay high and go over the top. And through to here, under this bridge. And then, have you stop at every... No, hang on. Have you drop one tile lower? I want the pillars to line up with the pillars beside it. And you're there. Okay, so I want to come to that tile. So there to there, and then we're just going to run straight across. It does mean, uh, no, one more tile. It does mean that technic. No, I was right the first time. Okay, it does mean that technically I'm going to block excavators getting through this area, uh, but frankly, I don't think I care. And height one through to there. Low food supply. I disagree. Uh, you have potatoes, 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 and you have veggies. Do I have veggies in farms? Uh, you have nothing. You have potatoes. You have potatoes. You have potatoes. All right. Well, then, at the very minimum, I should. Can I get a bucket? We should have done this ages ago. A bucket there and a bucket there, along with a unit storage here. Run a belt into there uh, build all of these and you are going to be potatoes you're going to be more potatoes and you're going to be the vegetables the vegetables I don't need to put a request on them because when the farms produce the food it basically forces the food it's like setting one of these to stay empty right? the farm works the same it's like a set empty it's like get the food the hell out of there and just dump it in one of the buckets if they dump the buckets they'll just feed into these guys I think we're fine on food overall. We could just have a little bit more of an automated, there we go, automated delivery. Um, so you're just gonna trickle food in as they eat the food, yeah. Yeah, it should be fine. Oh, look, there's another bucket of food coming along. Yeah, we're, we're, we're not short on food. We just might not store enough for the amount of people and the rate they eat them to count more than 12 months. Just like when when anybody, anybody, anybody who's got kids at home is gonna go, I've heard them say it. I've heard them say it a thousand one times. The kids go, there's nothing to eat. And you go into their house and you're like, no, there's food everywhere. You just can't be bothered to cook anything. So the problem is not that the lack of food, it's the lack of you having motivation. If you don't have motivation to, to feed yourself, I don't see a problem. Yeah, I have only had these arguments a few times. All right, we need to grab all our CO2, obviously, uh, and run this through to here and here. Here and here and here and there. Okay, there. No, no, over the over, over the top. Over the top. Oh, oh you're at height three. Oh damn! I meant you to be at height two. Whatever. Fine. We're gonna run this one underneath. I'm gonna regret this later. Oh no, it actually does go underneath. Okay, I need to click there and then click there and click there. And then plug that in there. All right. So this will let us prioritize out into this pipe where we can shove the CO2 into these guys. And then anything left over will bounce out the chimney. Now, I, because they use 400 kilowatts worth of power each, uh, I don't want to hook up all of these. I think if we hook up two of them, that's a pretty good start. So what we're going to do is we're going to rip out uh, that. And then I'm going to come to this one. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to gonna rip from there to there uh you have a double chimney so we're gonna rip out that one okay so we're gonna rip out those to start with they all produce a bunch of co2 the other things that produce a bunch of co2 is the hydrogen reformers so you have a chimney you have a chimney you have a chimney and you have a chimney okay where i leave that pipe we're gonna have to extend out that pipe uh height number three two here and then this plane is free for projects like this uh 
Yes, until we get to the brine tank. Uh, and then... Just live there for a second. Okay. Uh, so I need to remove all of these. Uh, the other thing that produces CO2 is over here. You, 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 you. Uh, when we burn fuel gas, we get carbon dioxide as the output. So again, I could, and we're going to rip out that. Uh, but that did get ripped out. It didn't make a sound. Okay, there we go. Uh, we're going to build all of that. And what I need to do is grab this and plug this basically into that pipe. Any better options? Like, I, I'm, I'm here looking for better options. How about... Really, no. Okay. Sometimes better options are just too much. Too much to be asked for. Uh... Sure, sure. Just gonna roll with it. Gonna roll with it. All right. So that'll take uh, that CO2 and run it that way. Uh, I never... You need you guys. Okay. Uh, you output 36 each, so I can grab a skinny pipe. That's not a skinny pipe. That's a skinny pipe. And run out of you, into you, and out of you, into you, and out of you, into you, and out of you, into you. Wait, on top of that, uh, you guys are doing 72 each, which is 144. So we're going to plug that in. We're also going to plug that in. You're doing 72 by yourself, and that means I'm going to put that in because the 60 pipe's not going to be enough. I'm going to build all of those and build all of those. All right, so that should put a bunch of CO2 in the pipe. Uh, do you have to? Huh? How do you have seawater? I don't know how, how you have seawater. I'm guessing a truck delivered you seawater. Okay, because I never plugged in the other pipes. All right, uh, we need to go from you into you, and from you into you, and build. And then you to you, and you to you, and you to you, and you to you. Okay, uh, seawater, yes. Okay, you have seawater, you now have CO2 as well, and that is just going to permanently destroy the CO2. But the cash is, um, it's the power. It's the power, that's really what it comes down to. Uh, this is 800 megawatts or 800 kilowatts worth of power, which is a 0.8. That's a big increase in our power. If I had another one, we have to be up to 1.2 megawatts, which then means I'm burning more coal, creating more exhaust, creating more carbon dioxide to create more power to, yeah, you see how we have end up with a self-perpetuating system. Yes. But we're dumping all the CO2 on this pipe. Uh, as long as we have, well, up to four machines running at once from this whole set, uh, we should be fine. But you're not running because you don't have an exhaust, because you don't have enough trash. You burn the trash very slowly. Uh, no, you just output some. Uh, these guys don't see me running at all. And I should have. One thing we could do is we could pause this and then see if we end up with any uh, exhaust in this pipe. If we do, we know the system backed up at one stage, but I don't think we're there yet. I don't think we're anywhere close to things backing up. All right. Uh, shippy, 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 shippy. Really wish you wouldn't be off the screen. Okay, still waiting on steel. Has the required cargo. We're going to load the crew and we want to go to you. Uh, at the same time, we can now do that which requires steel, which I just don't have, it seems. It seems I'm willing to bet as soon as it's getting the box, it's disappearing. Yeah, because we're technically consuming more steel than we're producing, which is fine, I guess. All right, uh, last thing I want to do is down here. Uh, I want to set up uh, two things. Building vehicles, I want a fuel station, which we're going to dump. Uh, well, that's full. Here. With a storage, a uh, little fuel storage right there. You're gonna have diesel, please. Do, 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 do. And we're gonna drag that up. Uh, and then we're gonna build that. Okay. I wanna get that done. I also, oh, no research. Okay, research. Uh, there's a couple of researches we want. Basically, we're just ticking off the list at the moment uh, because the real researches I want, like I said, is I, I, I 
but I don't want any more research. I really want to rebuild the town at the bottom of the crater, but that means I need to, well, have everything else done and dust and be actually have some sort of working, working uh, supply down here. Can you, you are coming home. All right. Can I do, I want to vehicles. I want a mine control tower, which we're going to put here in the corner. We also want storage. I want a large storage, uh, one, two of, and then a small storage, one, two of. Uh, you, sir, are going to be rock and out of the way and paste. And you, sir, are going to be dirt, 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 dirt. Uh, copy, paste. And uh, you are going to export to there and there. Okay. No idea why they did that, but all right, whatever. Uh, and then we're going to build those. I'm going to set you to keep empty. I'm going to set you to keep empty. And we now need a diggy boy. So we're gonna pop up here and go to the main digging crew, which is not that tower, it's that tower. Uh, I'm gonna pull two off here. And that's about it. Yeah, just two. Uh, I'm gonna send you down here uh, with the explicit order of uh, have three trucks, three trucks. Uh, the explicit order of Flattening out all this dirt. I want all this dirt gone. I don't want to touch any the areas that haven't been shaven yet. Um, because I'd, I'd like to grab the wood myself. Rather than just undermine the tree until we end up with a stump. Or less. Because we just ripped out everything from above. Uh, but. Yeah, those ribs are quite high. They're higher than I expected. Uh... Sometimes it's nice to find it bigger than you, you expect, right? Okay, uh, so we're going to send them down here and they're going to uh, do this. We have plenty of room to dump dirt. The dirt will have to get shipped out via, well, all the trucks out of the general pool, which is probably going to lead to some very, very busy trucks. We are still trying to fill up this corner with dirt. So we have a bit of capacity for dirt yet. And I actually think I need more trucks over here. Uh, so we might just, where are we? This one. We're at stable, so we're going to add five trucks. I'm also going to add our last five trucks here. Because we have uh, 50 of the big excavators, which means automatically I have, you know, almost 100 of the trucks. I do have, well, the couple of tree harvesters plus the tree planter. But I think 40, uh, 50 excavators for right now is probably enough. When we get to the mega stage, we might scale things a little bit differently. But for right now, I think that's enough. We are making good progress digging through the hillside. But there's more to do. A lot more to do. Uh, and you're back. You are waiting for steel. Yeah, I think the first thing we're going to have to do in the next episode, or maybe it'll happen uh, magically between episodes, is another steel smelter. We're not, just not quite making enough. Yeah, not with construction parts going and maintenance going and everything else. But uh, no matter what, I need to leave this episode here. We've made some progress. Not a lot of progress, but you know. Now you're venting. You are working. You are working. Yeah, we've we've made some progress. Uh, we're still at uh, four. So if I burn off seventy-two, hang on, I'm now curious. Seventy-two, and actually, I need to look in here. Uh, in it causes one hundred and fifty air pollution for every six hundred, so it's a one quarter ratio. If I go to pollution and air pollution, oh no, it came down. It almost halved. Okay, so if I built another scrubber, we would get another one quarter off our air pollution. One quarter of 72. So 72. Uh, what about by point two five equals 18 air pollution. Which is worth uh, potentially 1.8 hit points. Yeah. Yeah. No, oh, two hit points, two hit points, isn't it? Uh, pollution. It's population, pollution. Uh, we currently have a pollution effort, pollution of 64. And no, it looks like it, it's halves. So, yeah, a, a, a health factor of one. Um, yeah, 
And limestone stone. Uh, limestone, please start at the bottom and dig your way in. All right, I need to call this a video here. Uh, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I will see you in the next episode. And please, please, comment section below. Which way are we digging? Which way are we digging? Are we going for the nice, steady, slow, easy ramp? Or are we going to attempt to pull off a nice switchback where we hope nothing goes wrong? And it's possibly going to be a nightmare to get belts and other things down there. And I just realized that that actually needs to... No, it is. It, it does line up. Oh. It slides to the right two tiles. Nah, it's fine. All right, I'm going to call it here. Uh, as I said, thank you for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you in the very next video. All right, bye.